Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Queen LaRae and Queen Nicki Minaj. Because Queen LaRae tweeted that, you know, she's inspired by Nicki Minaj. Um, and she wants to be just like Nicki because Nicki is a trendsetter. Now, I agree with Queen LaRae. But my thing is, Queen LaRae doesn't have enough talent to be like Nicki Minaj. No offense. But Quayle LaRae is a one-hit wonder, in my opinion. Okay, I remember she was trying to get Nicki to hop on some song um, last year or whatnot. But Quayle LaRae is not popping. She's not in the conversation because she's a one-hit wonder. Like most of these other chicks. Now, moving on to what I said about Russ in the last video, a lot of people forget that Russ has spoken out about Atlantic, which puts a target on his back. Yes, he's worth $20 million, but it's not like he made $20 million in one year. Okay? And I'm happy for Russ, and I do believe that he is talented, but I don't want Nikki to have a target on her back by collaborating with Russ. She already has it hard in the industry. And Atlantic, in my opinion, would definitely go out of their way to ruin a collaboration between Russ and Nicki Minaj. Especially when he accused Atlantic of using payola. You don't say things like that openly like that um, and do interviews when you were signed to that record label. Okay, so I feel like it's going to be a struggle with that collaboration between Russ and um, Nicki Minaj. And when I mean a struggle, I mean there's going to be a lot of sabotaging. I'm going to say allegedly, but there's definitely would be some sabotaging, especially if Russ is attached to Nicki Minaj. Okay, they didn't even push that record she did with Mike Will made it and NBA Youngboy. Because they they are both under Atlantic. So it just doesn't make any sense. The only record they're going to push, and I'm talking about Atlantic, is if she does one with Cardi B. That's the only time they're ever going to really lay off Nicki Minaj. Until then, you know, the gloves are off. So I don't see a point in, you know... Doing the collaboration with Russ. I think he's talented um, and I think he's a great writer, but it's not worth it. Moving on to the queen of makeup, Rihanna. Yesterday, I told you guys that, you know, Party Next Door used to write for Rihanna, especially on Anti. He wrote a few songs. Now, it looks like Party wants to continue writing for Rihanna. Because I am hearing that he wants to send her some more records. Okay? For her next album. And she did say that she wanted to do an island type of reggae album. Okay? And then she also said that she wanted to do another album that was strictly pop. So let me know, do you guys actually believe if Rihanna's releasing music this year? And if she would do a reggae or pop album? Okay, because work technically is reggae, but it really wasn't at the same time. Okay, it wasn't really treated as a reggae record. It was definitely more pop, especially when she added Drake on there. And then I feel like um, Rihanna doing strictly reggae. I don't know how her fans will adjust to that. Okay, Um because I think a lot of people like Rihanna for her pop records, like Diamonds, you know, Girl Girl Gone Bad. So I don't know about the strictly reggae type of thing, but I think she can pull it off. Definitely, especially with Party Next Door on her side, who has, you know, really good ears for music and for writing. I feel like they will definitely come together and make a hit record. Party Next Door is very talented. Um, it doesn't matter how many times Drake tries to keep him in the shadows. He still prevails. 
Moving on to Megan the Stallion. There has been an update on this Pinterest photo. So, allegedly, this photo of party that's on her Pinterest account is from three to four months ago. Okay? Now, I do not have Pinterest because I didn't know people really used it like that. But the photo is basically old. And that's more of a reason why I feel like she was trying to distract the public from what's really going on with this case. Now, do I believe Tory Lanez is innocent? No. I will tell you that right now. Um, Tory Lanez does have a history of being aggressive with women. Okay? But I do not believe that Megan is completely innocent either. They both lie. Okay? But it doesn't matter. It only matters what you can prove in court. It doesn't matter who's telling the truth and who's not. It matters what you can prove. And if Megan cannot prove that Tory did this to her, then he's not going to jail. And then on top of that, evidence disappeared. So that was a little bit weird how evidence can magically disappear. So I know she's trying to use this breakup um, to get more attention and to take people's minds off this Tory Lanez case. But everybody is still talking about it. Okay. Um, people are waiting for the verdict. And a lot of people do believe that Tory Lanez is innocent. Not me, but there's a few people that do. Okay. A lot of people do want Megan canceled. Moving on to Chloe Bailey. Um, there were a few people on social media talking about her hair and her locks. And there were a few men on Twitter who were saying that she needs to cut off her locks or her dreads. Um, with that being said, me personally, I don't believe that Chloe needs to cut off her locks. Um, one, the blonde locks and the red locks are extensions. That's not all of her hair anyway. Okay, so she doesn't need to cut off anything. Um, second of all, I feel like people are focusing in on Chloe's looks more than her actual talent because her music is not really producing. Okay. Like it's kind of mediocre. So with that being said, of course, people are going to focus in on her looks and what she's wearing. And to me, Chloe and Holly are not known for their fashion or for their hair. They're known for their voices. So I don't understand why people want her to cut off her, her locks. All she has to do if she wants a different hairstyle is to wear a wig. Okay? She can just temporarily take the locks out for, you know, a couple weeks. And then, you know, wear a wig or something like that. Now, some fans are saying that it's not helping with her star power. That she needs a better look. But I think that she can still have a look with having dreads or locks. She just needs to upgrade her fashion sense. But like I said before, Chloe and Holly are not known for their fashion. They're known for their voices. And because Chloe is not putting out great solo music, people are going to focus on her looks. Okay? Because they don't got anything else to focus on. So let me know what you guys think about that. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.